This is the Johnny's Pizza House Friday Night Blitz, brought to you by Car Giant Auto Group. Welcome back to the Friday Night Blitz. Even though Parkway lost tonight, their running back Jalen White was a big reason for their week to win. He's our Player of the Week, presented by Marketplace Chevy. This is Parkway Junior running back Jalen White. This is Jalen White throwing up a heart to the camera. How do we get to this point? Well, let's take you through it. Um, I like to play fast. I'm really not physical. I like to juke a lot. Jalen isn't kidding either. I like making people look silly instead of taking a hit, yes. The people he normally makes look silly are opposing defenders. Friday night against North DeSoto, White was at the height of his powers. Friday night was kind of weird. You know, we didn't really, uh, didn't really realize what he had until after the game. And what White had was mind-boggling. 321 yards and four touchdowns, one of which was pretty hard to comprehend. And you go back and watch on film too, and, and y'all had a good shot of it. He never slowed, he never slowed down or stopped. The guy kind of slung him, and, and he was able to put one hand on the ground, roll over the kid's back. And he just kept going full speed. I just knew he didn't tackle me because I didn't hear the whistle. So I just bounced off of him and started running to the touchdown and I scored. White is responsible for almost 500 yards of total offense through just two games. And after seeing Jalen's offseason, his head coach isn't the least bit surprised. He's able to take something bad and make something good out of it. You know, he's just so fast and uh, has good vision, and, and really and truly the weight room's paid off. The Panthers are 2 0. White knows the difference between this year's team and last year's. We had a better team last year with no confidence, but this year, it's like we have a good team, but we're just way more confident. For Jalen White's 321 yard, four touchdown performance, He's our player of the week. What a performance from White. Wesley, you got a good look at him. Oh, he is a phenomenal player. And I have to imagine tonight, if Parkway got back in that game, it's because he made a, some phenomenal efforts there in the second half. Now, if you want to submit a player of the week, just email us at sports at ktlnews.tv or DM us on Twitter or Facebook at KTL Sports. We just need the athlete, their school, and some stats, why they deserve the award. All right, the highlights keep on coming. What a great matchup in Texas. Danger Field, Elysian Field. Pick things up in the third quarter. Landon Swank, Swank drops back. Uh -oh. oh, that's not good. Aaron Hampton says that's mine. That's his. That is my Aaron ball. Hampton it's got takes my, what he wants. It's got my name on it. Gives it back to the ref. That wasn't really his. He yeah. was lying. <laughs> Danger field. Feeling dangerous. Feeling dangerous. Two point conversion. You love to see two point conversions. Elysian Fields, though. They strike back, and Elysian Fields, they're actually going to take this game. A bit of an upset, I think. I was Danger really Fields excited. Really good. Da Danger Field is, they, they have, all they've done all year is score points. They kind of got held back tonight. We talked about it earlier. No D. Lewis. We haven't seen D. Lewis in these highlights. We're looking for D. Lewis. So I, I can, can only wonder what happened to D. Lewis. Let's see the final score in that one. I, maybe we already saw it. He was, yeah, 44 28 Elysian Fields over Danger Field. All right, some more scores now. Over in Texas, Harmony taking it to Harleton, 29 to six, and there we go. We got the correct score now. Horatio, 17 to nothing, over the Foreman Gators. The Gator who is wearing a sweater with an F on he's it. He's cold. He's he's a reptile. He's cold blooded. Cold blooded, and uh, yeah. All right, more highlights coming uh, to the Parkway. This game. We just saw Jalen White as our. Can we just talk league? about this game a little bit? Let's just do it. Because, I mean, look, it's, it's homecoming night for Parkway. They've yep. scored 40-plus points back-to-back -back weeks. Huntington comes in there and punches them in the mouth. Yep. Looking at that Parkway sideline tonight, I think they were a little bit stunned by it. Yeah, and you wonder, you know, it was the moment too big for them. I mean, this was the most excitement around this team ever since well, Brandon well, Harris yeah, well, was Look, look, look it's, it's week three of the season. There's plenty of football left, and this obviously ended up being a great game. They clawed back in here. This Huntington team is no joke. And, and, and the weapons here that this Huntington let me, offense let me, has. Let me ask you this: Are you did, did did you become a Huntington believer after tonight? Yes, I I I definitely became a Huntington believer. This was a true test here. And, and again, even on the other side, you're looking at what Parkway's done through through three games, even the points they scored tonight, putting up 31, they they could have. You know, sat down, mm -hmm. sat out the rest of this game. Yep. They fought back. It was a game here, and you see the emotions here yep. heading into the half. Both of these teams wanted this game so bad, but Huntington, they get it tonight 38 to 31 over Parkway. Hey. And look, it's week three. This felt like, my goodness, week 10. Like there were stakes attached to this game, and there was bragging rights. All right, moving on. 
some more scores. More scores now. We head to Oklahoma and Louisiana. The Broken Bow Savages, savage over Kingston, right? 30 to nothing. North Caddo, tough loss to North Webster last week. They take out their frustrations on Bolden, 50 to 14. Union Parish and Captain Shreve, we pick things up in the third. It's 15 to 7 farmers. Another on one here. Let's just kind of talk about it a little bit. I mean, it's the third quarter. You're down to, I mean, this Union Parish team. They're one of the toughest teams in the state. Yeah. They look like a college football team. I, I would be shocked if they're not in the dome at the end of the year. And they've already taken down Manny. They've already taken down Airline in relatively convincing fashion. Yeah. It looked like they were on their way to beating Captain Shreve tonight, but you see right there, the penalties. That's what kept Captain Shreve in the ballgame. And give Captain Shreve credit. They took advantage when they had their opportunities. Kendrick Law here scores the game tying touchdown. And the Gators, they become the first team to beat Union Parish. And look, just, just kind of seeing here, this is a Union Parish touchdown that gets called back on a, on, on, a, on a holding penalty. Mm -hmm. And it was just kind of missed opportunities for this Union Parish team tonight. You know, you hold them to a field goal, then you rough the kicker, you score an 80-yard touchdown, then you commit a hold. You, you can't have those mistakes and expect and to win And I think a bit quietly, I don't know, if, maybe if it's just me, but I think Captain Shreve, a bit of a quiet 3-0 start. I, I, you, you, might be, you might be right about that. Gurdon taking it to Mineral Springs 50-8. to eight. Go Devils, go Devils, go. And then Arkansas and Warren not playing. Arkansas has already lost two games in the young season yeah, thanks it, to COVID. It, it, they haven't had a lot of those. Yeah. But Arkansas, they've suffered it's the majority. It's something to read on what that Razorback team is because they lost to Paris, who's really good. They beat Pleasant Grove. And then they get a win in their second game. But we don't really know what we've got in the Arkansas Razorbacks yet. We do not. Manny. A huge opportunity to take on they North took Dakota. Full advantage and, of and you know, like this this Manny team, they took Union Parish down to the wire in week one. You I love what Coach Curtis is doing with this program, especially in pre-district, scheduling tough teams, saying, We want the smoke. Give me the smoke. We're gonna go on the road. We're gonna take on a tough 4A North DeSoto squad. And, and we're, we're gonna, gonna hit him in the mouth. 50. And we're gonna hit him in the mouth. Um, on the other side of that, you know, this, this North DeSoto offense, they've scored 21 points. 21 points in three, three games. games. Um, so, you know, something's got to give here. We'll see the adjustments they make as we start moving towards the middle part of the season. 50 to nothing, the final there is that is just a huge, huge surprise. As we take a look at some more scores. DeKalb, this is another huge surprise. DeKalb has looked as good as any of our Texas schools so far. They get blown out by Sabine tonight, 48-7. And James Bowie, the Pirates, they get the win 24-9 over Lyndon Kildare. All right, back to Independence Stadium we go now. Woodlawn, let's just keep this trend going. We talk about the games. You got you to gotta be happy for old Chili Bowl Harris. <laughs> uh, don't you? Coach Thedrick Harris and his, his Twitter username, Chili Bowl. I, you know, I, I want to try some of Coach Harris's chili. You're on a chili kick. I'm on a chili kick. I made some chili this week. It was really good. Coach Harris, if you're out there, I want some of your chili. Let's exchange chili. I'll make you some chili. You make me some chili. We'll meet in the middle. We'll see whose chili's better. We'll, we'll, get, back sure to the, we'll get back to the game here. North Central, much improved from years past. You like the direction they're headed in, but it's all about Woodlawn. The Knights have won two games in a row. They were ranked eighth because of a 5A victory over Southwood coming into the game. And they show that maybe they can make some noise. Maybe they, they creep into the playoffs 48 to nothing. Things headed in the right direction for Woodlawn. We'll see what happens once they get into district play. And they play in a tough district. Selena over Paul Pewitt, 42 to 6. The Brahmas falling tonight in Prescott. 49 to 13 over Hope Prescott. All they do is score points. And all they do is win so far. And all they do is win. No matter what. Let's keep it moving now. Back to Texas. Gilmer, they've been dominant. Taking on Lindale tonight. Second quarter. Lindale's ball. Sam Peterson. Peterson got to find number 24. Look at him go. Spinning. Good Lord. Someone lost some equipment there. Ah, it's too bad. You hate to see that. It's probably like a $50 towel or something. Yeah, Brandon Tennyson's been unstoppable for Gilmer. He's probably got like 15 total touchdowns already. He has been incredible through four games. Gilmer. The flag people for Gilmer get more screen time than most of our teams. <laughs> they do a great job. They we do have a to, great job. We have to highlight what they do. And look, Lindell yeah, fighting they, they, in this one a against a really good them. Gilmer team. Final score in this one. Gilmer, they end up hanging on. We get the 49-35. 49-35. That's what it was. Speaking of scores, let's take a look at some more scores. Valiant there they are. falling to Colgate last night, 40 to 6. And then here in Louisiana, Rayville 
over Lakeview 32 to 6. Yeah, Lakeview couldn't build off that 40 to nothing win last week. They they fall tonight. So. We go to some more games now. Grace and Tenaha. Tenaha looking to bounce back from their loss a week ago, taking on Grace. Now we do not have a final from this one. I just wanna I just wanna foreshadow that, but we do have highlights, and that's that's half the battle. Well, imagine right? playing the concept of grace. I don't even know if I want to win against that. That's true. Everybody's excited. Guy's throwing up a heart to the camera. I do know Grace was up in this one. Yes, they were. Because At one point, I think it was 13 Ten to nothing. Tenna Hall was fumbling the ball. As uh, we'll keep working on a final for you, as you get a nice look at the Cougar there. And then, how about Will Bozema, keeping it himself for the touchdown? We'll keep working on a final for you, and if we'll, we'll keep you updated. It's the only final that we are missing. That we don't have so far. So far tonight, so we will. We will keep you posted. All righty. So How about Thursday football? This is a new highlight for you. It is. On the Friday Night Blitz. We haven't seen this one yet. Wascom hosting Arb. It's already 7 nothing Wildcats. We've got a fourth down deep in enemy territory. Why not pitch it to DJ Feaster? Feaster makes this look easy. Just walks in for the score. 14 nothing Wildcats in the second quarter. Unless you think Feaster was done. No, sir. He was not. Feaster earning his paycheck. Going to take the option pitch here. He takes it all the way for six. A 50 yard score for Feaster. Feaster, dynamic, getting it done from all over the field. And the Wildcats, they may be cruising in this one, but Coach Keeling still coaching up his guys on the sideline. He wants more, and he's going to get more. Tayshawn Hamilton, get out of the big man's way. The My fullback goodness. dive. He guessed it. No one's going to even touch him. Hamilton showing off the wheels. 28 0 early. Wascom rolls 56 to 6. All right, more Thursday action. And before we get to it, Grace, 36 to 14. All they right. are a winner over Tenaha. Bird and Maumel out of Arkansas. Bird up 7 0. This is Jesse Knight. Jesse Knight with one of the best punt returns we saw all week, making men miss, spinning out of tackles. And he's going to stay on his feet. Wow. Finally, he's pulled out of bounds, and that led to this. Weston Pierce all day to throw. When he finally does, he's got a wide open Caden McGee in the end zone. Maumel ties things up at seven. Hornets looking for more. It's Pierce to Caden McGee again, but McGee puts the ball on the turf. Oh! And it's recovered by the Yellow Jackets. But that was all the offense we saw in the first half. Offense is picking up in the second half, and Bird, they move to 3 0. Close win. Maybe exactly what Coach Ballou needed from his squad to win a close game. And they do just that, 24 to 21. We've got more Friday Night Blitz coming up after the break.